Hi guys and welcome to another Divi video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Well today we're going to create this little sticky call to action. If I bring it into view. There we go, it's right there. When we come up it's going to stick to the top of the page like that and it's going to stay there until we reach the bottom of the page here. Then when I scroll back up it's going to jump back in place there. And that's a pretty cool thing to have on your site, especially if you want to get some information to people or get people to contact you. So let's get this done. So I've got the visual builder enabled. Let's go down and I'll delete that little section I've got here. Or it's actually a row. There it is blue for section, green for row. There we go. And let's start from scratch. I'm going to add another row. Green button for a row. I'm going to make it two columns and because I've got a button one in I want, want just want a small section on the right hand side. There's our row. I'm going to add a little button over here. There we go. If you're wondering why mine's, mine's purple around that's just the way I've got it configured in the customizer, the theme customizer. Of course you can customize them yourselves here by doing anything you want with it. I've got to design button, use custom styles for button. You can change it to however you wish. I'm going to leave mine just like that. So I've got my button in there. Obviously I want to put a link in there. I probably link to my contact page or something like that. Now over in this left hand one, I'm going to use a little blurb module because I'm going to use an icon. There we go. And put in whatever you want your title to be. Now I don't think I want all that writing in there, so I'll just delete a little bit. Obviously you'd have some writing, <laughs> but uh, this is just a demo, so I don't. Now I'm down to image and icon. We're still on the content tab. I'm going to flip the button to use the icon. Just go choose whichever one of these elegant themes icon works for you. There it is right there. But I kind of want my icon on the left hand side of this because I want it all in line really. So let's go back to our design tab. Image and icon. Don't particularly like that color. We'll change it in a minute. I'll make it purple for the time being. Um, now you see image icon placement. I'm going to put it on the left. There we go. And I want it a bit bigger than that. So let's use icon font size here. And just drag it up to the size that you want it. I think I want mine about the same size as the paragraph of writing there. Something like that. Great. OK. Well, that's pretty much it for the modules. Now for the row itself, I want to make this full width because I'm going to have it red in color so people see it very easily. So let's go into the row and do that firstly. Green for the row again. Hit the little cog. I'm going to go to design, sizing, width. I'm going to take up to 100%. I'm going to copy that. Control C and paste it down below in max width also. Control V to paste or type it in if you prefer. We've now got a full width row there, which is great. Now let's give it a background color. I'm going to go to content, down to background, and make it a simple red. That's fine. <laughs> OK, now we've got that sorted out. I think I'm going to make that icon and also the writing red. The button's very easy to see, so that's fine. So let's save our row settings. We're going to go in there in a minute, moment and make it sticky. Let's go into our little module here. Go over to design, to text. I'm going to make that white. Obviously you do exactly what you want to do. I go down, just simply change that to light. That's better, that's very easy to see. And 
I want to change that icon as well. That's up the top. Still on the design tab here. I'm going to change that to white. Now you're not going to miss that. That's great. Okay, now we've got everything sorted out there. Let's make this little fella sticky because at the moment it's going to roll up and down like everything else here. Okay, while we're here, let's give our little section a title. So we can find it. I'll give it admin label. I'll just call it sticky. So we know which one it is when I go into wireframe view in a minute. That's fine. Now, if it's not already expanded, purple button at the bottom here, it's not expanded. Just click on it to expand and we'll go all the way to the left to wireframe view, this little icon right here. And here we are. Now we just need to find our little row and it's called sticky. There it is right there. All right. Well, we've got a section just below it right there. I'm going to pull it into this next section just down a bit and this is quite a large section quite a deep section there that's fine and I, I want it to be sticky all the way all the way down to the bottom of the page but when it gets back up to the top of that long section this right here I want it to release it so it stays where it is So let's go into sticky again. And once we're in there, go back to desktop view. As we pulled it out of that little section above, I'm just going to clean it up a little bit. So let's just save that. Just going to drag it. So it's touching the bottom of the section above there. That's perfect. Now we'll go back in and make it sticky. To do that, I'm going to go over to the advanced tab, down to scroll effects. And I'm going to say stick to top and bottom. If you just want to stick it to the top, that's fine. Stick it to the top. If you just want to stick it to the bottom, that's fine too. But I'm going to stick it to the top and bottom that way it'll stay up at the top all the way down to the bottom of the page and I'm going to define it so top sticky limit I'm going to say section so we know it's at the top of our section so if we're coming up from the bottom it's going to go back in place as soon as we get to the top of here and go back bottom sticky limit I'm going to leave that as none you could do it body area but I'm just going to leave it at none that way it'll go all the way down to the bottom of the page I don't want any offset and I'll leave the default transitions as well because there aren't any on this particular thing at the moment. Okay, if we've done this right, this should work. Let's save the changes. Save draft or publish if you're ready and exit the visual builder. So let's go down to our sticky bar. And there it is coming up right there. When I get to the top of the page, it should stick to the top. Yep. And that'll stay there all the way to the bottom of the page. Because we gave it none for the bottom limit. Then when I scroll back up, as we gave it section for the top limit, it should stick back in place when we get to that section. There we go. That's a very cool little feature. That's going to keep people's eyes on that which is what you want in certain circumstances. So that's how to add a sticky top and bottom row to your website. I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.